So sometimes in GraphQL, you might have a resolver that may return a partial object. And when I say partial object, I mean an object that isn't completely filled. And that can happen with multiple reasons. For example, if you call multiple web services or multiple resources within one resolver, say you need to get two pieces of information from two different services and combine them into one. Say if you need to call another GraphQL server and it returns a partial response with some data missing. Or if you call a normal REST service and it returns a partial response. Well, you may want to indicate that to the client. You may say, okay, here, here's what I have, but actually something went wrong and we couldn't get these two fields and I want to tell you about that. So one way of doing that is you can return what's called a data fetcher result. And that will allow us to actually return an error with the, the data in the client. So if I, if I change the response type to data fetcher result of type client, and then we go and have a wee look in here, you'll see that we return this object from a data fetcher, which in our case is gonna be a resolver, and it contains both data, local context, which I'll explain in another video, and the errors to be basically shown to the client. So yeah, as part of the final result. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you what that's like. So if I go ahead and type data fetcher dot new result and here we need to use generic. So if I tell it to type and then I set the data to the client. And then if we had an error when we were retrieving the, the data, if we had to call two services, well then I might want to say a new, let's say generic GraphQL error. And I'll say, I could not get some client ID or service was down or whatever it is, you know, you think of something appropriate for you. And I return that. Then the client will see both the partial data and they'll have an error in the message or in the GraphQL response that will indicate to them. And why that's really good, why this class is good is previously, if we didn't have this, then you would have to throw an exception, which would then indicate that, yeah, you had no data. You wouldn't have any client information or you could return the client information, but you couldn't really tell our end client that, yeah, here's some of the client data, but not all of the client data. So we go ahead and run that. And if I come back to Playground, and I click Run, you'll see here that, yeah, here's the data. But I also tell the client, yeah, there's one, one error occurred while we were resolving all this information, and I could not get the sub-client ID. And of course, like, that could probably be a field we would add in here. So that's one quick tip on how you can return yeah, data along with errors. And in this case, I like to call this a partial response. I don't know if any names given to it yet officially, but yeah, this is one way of handling that scenario. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next episode.